right, second grade. Miss Wolf here. If you're seeing this video, that means, well, I hope you've seen all of my Go Math lessons before you started the book. Because I am looking at these pages, it looks to me like you need to know telling time to five minutes, like you need to know like quarter two, half past, quarter past. Before you start understanding all the ways I'm, I'm just gonna be going over this book, talking to you like you've seen all my Go Math videos so far, okay? So if things get confusing and you didn't see all my Go Math or do your Go Math assignments, you might wanna just stop this right now and do those assignments first, because this will be here. I'm not just like making a due date it's not gonna be like assigned for a certain day you have to have it done. It's just for you to go over for yourself. Just more practice because telling time is tough if you don't practice. So I added this book for you to practice. And it probably won't show up on your assignments till the day I put it on here. So hello, you made it. Hopefully you've been doing your Go Math assignments before you started this one today, okay? All right, so let's look at this. Telling time, name, we all got one. I write mine, you write yours. All right, I'm gonna write that. I, notice how I double tap. Last week, some of you were having a hard time typing. You just gotta tap your finger twice, or if you have a computer, double click. Okay, Miss Wolf, you write your name, don't write mine. I'm not doing your book. All right. The day that you are starting this would be for, where's the slash mark? It's in gray. Whoa, that's not a four, that's an R. Four slash 20. Okay. There we go. First slide, got it. Okay. Here we go. Go here. It says, Match each time to the correct clock. So if you notice the dots, we're gonna make lines. All right, so let's see how we can do that. So we need half past two. So one way I'm gonna do that is, wait a second. Just these dots, no, that doesn't do it. How do I make a line? Ha! So if I press the plus sign, I can add lines to match. So if I'm half past two, I can use my clock to help us. If I remember from what Miss Wolf is teaching us, you might have already plugged it in for yourself, right? All right, so we got two o'clock, half past would be Right down there, halfway, 2.30. I hope you can see this, I hope so, I can't tell. I can't see myself at all, I'm just guessing here, so if it looks wompy, sorry. All we know is, is that line, that line is going there. I'm gonna thicken that up, wait a second. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna make it thick. Bang! There we go. All right, now we need quarter to five. And we're gonna make five o'clock. Wait a minute. Yes, this is one way to do it. So I made five o'clock, okay? Quarter to back it up 15 minutes. Okay, that's one way to do it. So I should have 445, because in 15 minutes, it'll be five o'clock. Quarter to five. In 15 minutes, it'll be five. Nailed it. So did I say 445? I hope so. Let's make another line. I'm using this when I don't have to be. Sorry about that. Add, line, basic. I want it bigger. Okay. Quarter to five would be this one all the way to this one. 
All right, now we have half past three. Well, if we're at three o'clock and we're halfway, that would be 3.30. I'm going to go up here where it has the lines, thickness, and I'm going to just go boop, 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 boop. And then I'm going to move it where I need to. That's funny how they kind of just go diagonal like that. All right, last one has to be 415, quarter past four. Well, I can always use my handy dandy clock as you're watching this. Okay, remember we have four o'clock. Quarter past means 15 minutes after. 4.15, is that the last time on there? Booyah, kusha, add, line, basic, plus that up, do, 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 do. All right, so now I'm gonna move it over here. Hold up, move it and stretch it where I need to. All right, so it should look like that. All right, we're on to the next one. Okay, match each time to the correct clock. Excuse me, pardon me. Quarter past nine. Quarter past nine, let me just show you. That would be 15 minutes after nine, one quarter past nine. So let's take this line and we're gonna put it right there. Nailed it, okay. Half past 10, well we know that's 10.30 if you've been following along with my go math, right? So let's do it. There we go. Uh, let's see, quarter past 10, that's 10.15, plus sign, add a line, basic, 10.15, there it is, and then the last one, half past nine, oh, it's straight down for us, so we just add a line, whoops, what in the world, here we go. Whoa, hello, I just want to move you, thank you. Right there. Nailed it, okay, pretty simple. All right. You can take your time and make it look pretty. You saw that I pressed the plus sign and when I added the line, I added the thickness, right? If you wanted to do that, see they gave you the options there, okay? They give you the options. If you want to sit and make it look pretty, that's up to you, it's cool, it's your book. It, Make it how you want to, but make sure you are still answering the questions correctly. I'm not gonna spend so much time doing that on mine, okay? All right, let's look at the next one. All right, telling time. We're gonna move these times to show it. Well, if I look, the hour hand is between the four and the five, and it's quarter past, 4.15. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap it. Whoa, hi. Just wanna move it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, dear, dear. It's very touchy. Now I'm going to move it right there with my finger, okay? And the next one in the middle, right here, I'm right, I'm right there, okay, that one. It's in between the three and the four. So it's three, half past three would be 3.30. Boom, right there, okay? So then the next one, I look and I see it. Once again, it's in between the three and the four. So I'm going to three. And in 15 minutes, it's going to be four o'clock. So that is 3.45. Right there. Okay. Now I have my hour hand on the bottom, right? It is in between the two and the three. 
It's in between, go back, two. And then I look in the minute hands on the nine, and that means it's quarter two. And if I know my quarter two, that means 45, 245. Right there, okay? Next one, oh, that's an old clock, no brainer. Four o'clock, got it. And then, oh, my 345 got moved. How did you do that? What in the world? What are you doing? All right, and the last one, 215, I see it. I see the hour hands right a little bit after the two, and I noticed that the minute hands on the three, five, 10, 15, booyah, got it. Ready for the next one. Telling time to the quarter hour. You've been working on that. All right, so it's in between the five and the six. 5.45. I'm gonna write it, five, oops. Five. Now you have to look for the two dots that are up and down. If you look, it's the letter M. And I'm going to slide it like that. Five, 45. Okay. Now look at the one below it. It's in between the 11 and the 12. It's quarter past 11. 15 minutes after 11 makes 11.15. So we're going to write 11, two dots. 15, okay? Next one below it, it is half past one. Another way to say half past one is 1.30. Again, I'm not gonna spend too much time showing you every single one because this is meant to be a review and you should have watched my go math, okay? So if this is getting messed up and you're like, I don't understand what she's saying, go back to my go math and do your work. Go on Clever. Go on Go Math and practice after you watch my videos, okay? This will be here when you get to it. No worries. It's my nose ring messing with me again. I love an o'clock. I love that they did that. Seven o'clock. I can do that. Easy peasy. Give me my little typer here. Seven. The M above the M. I scroll with my, I push and scroll with my finger. Swipe down so it comes up like a little what you call it zero zero all right now we got half past three that should be 330 we should have learned that by now too three there we go and the last one quarter to seven in 15 minutes i see that minute hand's gonna make it seven o'clock it's not seven o'clock yet it's quarter two, so it's 6.45. Da -da, come on, six. Just had a brain fart, sorry guys. <laughs> there we go, got that one too. Okay. Oh, this is fun. All right, I love putting in the o'clock because I know from Miss Wolf and all the time she talked about it, o'clock is up there, right? And then we start counting by five. So I know the next one would be five. Ah, five, 10, 15, 20, whoopsie daisy, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, oh, snap. Where's 35? Holy cow, what in the world? That was weird, sorry about that. 40, 45, 50. And then the last one's gotta be 55. Nice, now I can come back and look at this too, if I if I ever struggle, right? Like, I'm not in Miss Wolf's room anymore. I need to remember, come back to this. You filled it out. You can be like, oh, I'm just gonna go check my book. My book shows me what the minutes are, right? You can use it, take a screenshot of it, picture of it, whatever, print it out, whatever works for you to remember. Oh, here's another matching. I can do it, 150. 
in 10 minutes, that means it's going to be 2 o'clock when it says 150. So I got to find the one that shows 150. I'll show you which one that is in a second here. Let me get a line. Basic. Now, you can add thickness to it. You can use the buttons right up there, right? You can use these if you want, but I'm just using regular. And I'm going to make it move. Excuse me. Hi. Ah! Being a rascal. 150 right there. Okay, 220. Let me add a line. Basic. Do, 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 do. Come on, let's move with me here. Okay, the one that says 220. 20 minutes after 2 o'clock, right there. All right, got that one. 135. All right, let's, I bet some of you are finding it. If you haven't, here it is. Oh, come on, crazies. Gotta be careful with this, guys. 135, right there. Last one, 250, that means in 10 minutes, it'll be three o'clock. Look for the one where the hour hand's getting close to three o'clock. You should notice it's the last one that we have left. Come on, Ugh, it's being a rascal today, very touchy. There we go, okay, let's do the next one. Perfect, eight, 10, okay, and then we got this one. Look at, in five minutes, it's gonna be seven o'clock. Don't let that minute hand fool you, that's a 55er. You remember what I said about that? Yeah, don't get fooled, please. Come on. Right there. All right, so then the next one, I see it's in between the one and the two. It's a little bit past the half past. It looks like 30 plus five more makes 135. There we go. Okay. Bottom, last three. Okay, so we got um, seven, 20. There it is, okay. All right, now we have five minutes after seven. 7.05, we can do that. Oh, the last one looks like in between, so it's six. Should be 625, because it's not on the half pass mark. Okay, we're just zooming. Okay, let's do the first time together. Oh, dear, 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 dear. All right, I gotta know what the time is first because it's getting me all messed up. Okay, so that looks like five. It's in between the five and the six, five. 55. There's that time again from our math. All right. Quarter past nine. That's how you would say that one. So, excuse me. That would be 915. Eleven. It's in between, go back to 11, and then count your minutes, that'd be 25, 11, 25. Okay, we're just chugging along. Let's see how many more we have to go. Not so bad, we're almost halfway done. Okay, you're looking at this one? I see 140, one, 40, boom. Ooh, that one's fun, this one right here. Because I see the minute hand is five after 12. So five after 12, how you write five after 12 is 12.05. 12, 0, 5. Sometimes people say O for zero, because you don't say 12.05 usually. Usually you would tell someone, oh, it's 12.05. All right, last one. 
in between the six and the seven, six. The minute hand, in 10 minutes, it'll be seven. So it's 6.50. Six. Fifty. Now, if this is simple for you and you're following along with me and you are saying the times before Miss Wolf or you're understanding and it's looking good, awesome. That's exactly what this is meant for, for you to have for later on to remind yourself how to do it. And just so you have a book to show yourself, like this is all the stuff you did this week. Pretty cool. You learned this. 9.45 on an analog clock to the hour is is it so okay if you have 945 on an analog clock like this let me just get 945 for us okay here's how you can manipulate you can go on the app or the website i the link i gave you and play around to see but if you look we have nine o'clock and now I'm gonna make 9.45. All right, so 9.45, okay? Is it closer to 10? That was short. Or do you have to go all the way back 45 minutes to nine? Well, if you're thinking, um, I'm definitely, definitely sure that it's closer to 10. Okay, I hope you saw that. Once again, you already know this. You would take the circle, you would move it there. Okay, five, 10, is it closer to five or six? Well, you wanna make it on the link I gave you. All right, look at that time. Is that closer to six o'clock? Or is it closer to five? I just have to back it up 10 minutes. I don't wanna go around again. If I go around again, that's six o'clock. That's way too far. So I should take this and move it. Come on, toots. Closer, whoops, what am I doing? I just said it was closer to five. Okay, 225. Ooh, that's pretty close to halfway. So that could trick some people. 2.25, okay, look at that for a minute, figure out what do you think? Well, in 20, if I could just back it up 25 minutes, it would be two o'clock. If I go 35 minutes, it would be three o'clock. 25 is a lower number than 35. So I'm going to say two. Okay. An analog clock to the hour hand is closer to, oh my gosh, in five minutes, that's going to be 12 o'clock. So I'm going to take that right away. I remember what Miss Wolf said. It is close to 12, like five minutes away. I know that's close to 12. On an analog clock, 740. So we can make 740 and see which one is closer to. 740. Okay. 740. Well, I can see here that in 20 minutes, it'll be 8 o'clock. In 40 minutes, it goes back to 7. If we went backwards. So I don't want to go backwards. I think um, it's closer to eight. Okay, that's done. All right, now let's see what we got going on here. Rihanna woke up at 6.45, draw the minute hand. Okay, here's 6.45. Whoopsie daisy. All right, so I'm gonna put it here. Watch this, I'm gonna put the arrow there and then I'm gonna move it over here. Boom. It's not perfectly, but you know, you can just move it a little bit. Take your time. Oh, geez, Louise. There we go. That's better. Okay, there we go. Now let's do the next one, 720. Seven. And then you take your minute hand and move it to the 20. 
from the other dot. See how I did that? Boom, 720. I like how they already did the hour hand for us. That's pretty nice. All right, now we got 830. They have the hour hand, let's do it. I like to go like this. Okay, then I take this and go around to the half past. Done. This one says Hannah began her test at 11.05. All right, so we just draw 11. Okay, and then we make it five minutes. Oops, gotta put it right on. Oops, gotta put it right on. There we go. 11.05, that's what that should look like. Okay, we're flying guys, we're almost done. All right, 12.50. Oh, they did the hour hand. It looks like it's almost one o'clock. 50. I wonder if they're gonna make us do the right the hour hand soon. Okay, I bet they will. There we go, should look like that. And 325, they did the hour hand. So that would be o'clock, but we want 25. Boom, there we go, close enough. Holy moly, they want 515. Okay, our hand. Five, it's gonna be a little bit after five, right? And then we're gonna make 15, like this. And, oops, that does not look right. There we go. Pretty close. All right, 610. Six. It's going to be a little bit past. Okay. A little bit past, and then we're going to do 10. There we go, pretty close. Pretty darn close, okay? Gets kind of tricky with your finger, you just kind of have to practice and move it a little bit, okay? It gets a little touchy, just have to be careful. Always press those arrows on top, okay? Towards the top, you see one that goes this way, one that goes this way. You can fix those to move them around a little bit or back up what you did. I'm gonna have to do that after I'm done before I post this because then you're gonna have a complete book and you don't need that. I want you to do it. Okay, so 925. All right, so we need nine. Whoa. And then we do this. There we go. Something like that. That's pretty good. Um, 135. Now remember, it's got to be a little bit halfway between the one and the two. Oh dear, that was nuts. Come on. Whoa, whoa, there we go, that should be all right. And then we're gonna do this one. There we go, like that. Not perfect, but you guys get what I mean. It's pretty close. I mean, I could really take my time and move it for you, but for the sake of getting this done for you so you can just follow along with me, see, that's better. I just have to take my time and kind of move it a little bit with my finger. Plus my finger is pretty big. I'm gonna use my stylus. What am I doing with my finger this whole time? I don't know. All right, the clock shows the time at Riley's soccer practice. At what time did her soccer practice start? Okay, so we have to look at the clock and then put it on the correct answer. What time does the clock show us? In between the three and the four for the hour, so three, so it's either 3.40 or 3.35. 
Well, half past is 30, 25, 40. Should be 340. All right, now let's look at the next time. It says on the top row still. The clock shows the time that Ethan brushed his teeth. All right, so brushing your teeth at night, that's at night. Nighttime, should say PM. They all say PM, so that's good that we looked at that to make sure. So that looks like 8.05. There we go. Now, the clock shows the time that Jax went to the post office. At what time? So that was, ooh, don't get tricked. Do not say 1.55. In five minutes, it's going to be one o'clock. So you have to back it up. 12.55. I hope you're not messing that up. The clock shows the time that Bryn got on the bus. What time did she get on the bus? Well, in between, go back, 7, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 7, 25, 7, 25. All right, next. All right, they don't have to, we don't have to tell a.m. and p.m. yet because look at all of the answers, choices say p.m. So we don't have to worry about that part. We just have to tell the time. All right, so look at the clock. It looks like 410. Okay, now look at the next one on the top row about Alex going to recess. It would be 12, 5, 10, 15, 20, 12, 20. So I take the red dot. Or the red circle, I'm sorry. Oh, dear, 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 dear. 12, 20. Okay. Then Indy went to the movies at what time? Well, if you look down here, Indy, 10, 35. Whoa. Whoops, let's just press this arrow there. That's better. 10.35. And the last one in between the 6 and the 7, 6.45. Nailed it. Boom. Okay. Now, time to the 5 minutes. So look at which one shows 40 minutes after eight. I'm looking at my word, my options below on the bottom. I'm looking at this one. I'm looking for 40 minutes after eight. And I see it's right here. Look at that. And then I'm looking for 20 minutes after 10. So I'm looking for the minute hand on the 20. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, why is it being a rascal to me? On to it. Okay. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, now it looks like 25 minutes after 8. Well, I'm looking for the minute hand at 25. That helps me. Boom. Quarter to 9. Quarter to. So in 15 minutes, it will be 9. So it should say 845. I see that one right there. What in the world just happened? That was so weird, you guys, I don't even know. All right, now I'm looking at five minutes after seven. That should be simple. The hour hand should be on the seven. That's up there. And then 10 minutes after nine. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hate when it does this. That's so touchy and weird. Okay, there we go. You gotta be careful. Make sure you're only highlighting the box you wanna move. Otherwise, you're gonna move all of them. You're gonna get frustrated. Okay. How many minutes past six? Well, it is 20 minutes. 20 minutes past six. And then this one, let's look at the next one. It's, well, if you look at this first one, it says nine, 10. So it is 10 minutes, 10 minutes past. Ah, rascals. Nine. Okay. Bottom row. Here we go. 
Well, it's 12, 35. So then you back it up and flip it. So if it's 12, 35, 12, 35, you would say 35 minutes past 12. All right, so it would be 35 minutes past 12. Whoa, hey yo, weird letters. Try to put the numbers in. Now look at the last one. If it's 1120, no, 1130, half past 11, you would say 1130. And then if you're gonna flip it, you could also say it is 30 minutes past 11. Come on, Toots. 30 minutes past 11. Dun, dun, dun. Home stretch. All right, so it drew eight dinner at 4, 545. Would it be a.m. or p.m.? Well, if you're following along on day five, you're going to know that you eat dinner at the p.m. time. Lori arrived at school. When you get to school in the morning, morning is a.m. You're going to want to highlight that one. Okay, Malcolm looked at the stars at 9.05. Well, if you're seeing stars at night, ooh, that could be tricky. It depends on how late you stay up. Ah, da, 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 da. Don't move all them. I just want you to move the one I'm highlighting here. Holy cow. Hilda, ooh, what a name. It sounds like not a good name. I don't like that name. Had reading class. Well, if you're in school, and it's 1220, that's afternoon. That's a trick question, they're trying to trick you. You're gonna do PM because after lunch is, lunch and after is PM, 12 o'clock PM, noon, okay? Last page, here we go, on New Year's Eve. Ooh, I talked about that if you were watching my 7.11 day four work, I talked about it. On New Year's Eve, Zion stayed awake until 12 midnight. If you stay up till midnight, that's a.m. Eden ate a morning snack at 10.30. Look at the word morning, right? Morning is a.m. Catherine took an afternoon, if it's after 12, afternoon, that would be p.m. 12.40. Luke got ready for bed at 8.10. If you're getting ready for bed, it's nighttime, yo. Gotta go to sleep. Boom, we did it. We just did this whole entire book. We did it. I can't believe, I, I put my head down like that because I'm like, whoa, we just finished 21 pages. Okay, if this is simple for you and you're understanding what Miss Wolf's saying for all these answers, yay. You're getting so much better. You're going to be ready for third grade and fourth grade and fifth grade and sixth grade and being an adult because adults need to know time. Boom. Give me five for doing this and following along. Bam. You guys, I totally miss you. I want to see your faces. Hope you're getting this done. I hope you find this helpful. I hope you save this book and keep it on your device so you can look at it when you need to. Okay? Be like, oh, yeah, Miss Wolf. Miss Wolf, we did that with Miss Wolf. I can figure this out. I'm gonna look back at my book. Or I'll go back to Miss Wolf's videos about Go Math and find out. Okay? That's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for you guys. I love you guys. All right, let's hide this. I'm gonna go to the part where it says stop. All right. Peace. Love you. Mwah.